guys doing tonight? What do you think about Chicago? Is this badass or what? That was like the most badass entrance ever. Is it, who, who's, who's here for the first time to, to an event? Never been to an event before? Wow, that's amazing. That just goes to show the exponential growth of Empower Network. You know, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm a very OCPD person. I like to have everything in its place and, and I wanted to know exactly what I'm going to say and have everything laid out. And, you know, I really felt uh, that I didn't want to do that because really speaking from the heart and putting my heart out there for you guys to take, I think is the best thing. And I'm going to leave it on the stage for you guys and hope that you can get something from it. So I'm a stay-at-home mom. Obviously, you guys know that. I've been with Empower Network for less than 11 months, okay? And, uh, you know, before, I'm sorry. Sorry, I, I got an 86 the bling. I thought that was badass. Didn't you think the necklace was badass, right? So um, just a stay-at-home mom, guys. You know, I've got a, a beautiful two-year-old son and a beautiful five-year-old daughter. My husband is here. He came to the event for the first time ever. And I'm fortunate enough to have a spouse that supports me. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm so grateful that he's here, Blanton. So thank you for being here, honey. But. Um, you know, really, I come from the same place that a lot of you guys come from. We're going to talk about why I'm holding this and not wearing it in a few minutes. But, uh, um, you know, really, I just wanted to supplement, you know, our income. I just wanted to not live paycheck to paycheck anymore. You know, before we had kids, I worked in the restaurant business just like my husband, working 60 hours a week, busting my ass, right? We all know how that feels, not making what I felt like I was worth. Um, and, uh, you know, when we had kids, we decided that we didn't want a stranger to raise our kids, right? So I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom, and he makes a decent income, so I could do that. But quite honestly, we just met the bills. That's all we did. We just skated by. Forget having a date night, because those of you out there who are, you know, uh, married or have a significant other or whatnot, and you have kids, and you know to get a babysitter, it's like $100, right? And then if you want to go to a movie, that's like $80 now. And if you want to eat dinner, that's like $80. So it was like damn near $200 plus to go out on a date, right? So that wasn't happening. You know, it was, it was um, really sabotaging our marriage to not be able to spend time together the way that we felt that we wanted to um, and that we deserved to. And we've been married for over 10 years, you know? So it sucks to not be able to do that anymore. And uh, so really, I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I wanted to find something to do working from home that wasn't a scam, one of those schemy little things, as we all know, right? And uh, I came across something in uh, May, and it was just another one of those schemy little things, right? <laughs> and uh, about 20 days later, the back end of that was this thing called Empower Network. And, you know, I didn't know if it was real. We all have skepticism. It's natural. You know, it's our defense mechanism. And, uh, you know, I said, I'm going to give this a try, because what beats 100% commission Nothing, right? I mean, who doesn't want to make 100% commissions, right? So uh, isn't that the most badass thing ever? I mean, I should be hearing you guys scream about 100% commissions. So I was like, well, let me give this a try. You know, I didn't know that Empower Network was going to change my life. I didn't know that. I didn't expect that. All I was expecting was to try to find to do something that could help, you know, give the finances back. And of course, you know, having kids is like the most wonderful thing in the world, but, you know, all of a sudden you're responsible for these little beings, you know, they're running around and, and like, you have to take care of them. They can't do anything for themselves, right? So you, like, lose really who you are. Um, and I wanted that back, too, because I knew I deserved it. And all while all this is going on, guys, I'm a recovering alcoholic. I've been sober for just over two years now. Thank you. And a lot of that, as well, played into this because, you know, I'm, I'm damn lucky that that man's still sitting right there. And I'm damn lucky I still have my kids because a lot of people out there in the same position as me, oops, don't. They lost it all. And I'm glad I didn't. But, you know, I just wanted to not feel weird anymore. I just wanted to be a part of. And that's what happened when I drank. I would go out and drink to hang out with other people because I wanted to be a part of a group. I wanted to be a part of something. You know what I mean? I wanted to feel like I was a part of something. And whatever it cost me personally, you know, at the, at the sake of my family and my kids, right? So this Empower Network thing I came across, I didn't expect it to change my life. I expected to make a lot of money because I said I'm badass and I'm going to make a lot of money, right? Because that's what we want to do. 
you know, and I did it part-time. I really just worked in Power Network part-time. You know, I didn't, uh, you know, go balls to the walls with it. So that was May, and then come September, right? So the first conference was in Atlanta, right? And it was right after I joined. And I didn't go to that conference because I just joined Empower Network. And I didn't know really what Empower Network was really about. So I didn't go. But I went to San Diego. And the funny thing is, is when I checked in at San Diego, they handed me a red lanyard with my name on it. I'm like, they're like, oh, you got a red lanyard. I'm like, well, what's that? Well, that's, that's top 150 or top 200 of the contest, whatever. I'll say contest. What contest? Like, I didn't even know it was a contest. <laughs> but somehow, some way, I made it to the top 150, top 200, right? Which was like another, you know, one of those signs because, man, if I'm doing this part time and I'm not even paying attention to it and I got top 200, man, what would happen if I actually paid attention to it, right? What would happen if I actually put the little kid toys aside and start focusing on it? So I thought about that and then the event happened. And my, my subject tonight is the power of events, which is perfect for me because events are what changed my life. Events are what changed my life, and this event is what will change your life, okay? But, honestly, you know, and I only have like eight and a half minutes left, but I've got like two hours to talk, right? I really need two hours to talk. So anyway, it, it's amazing how we do things subconsciously, you know? Like, if you eat Cheerios every morning for breakfast, you just get up and you go make yourself a bowl of Cheerios, right? You don't get up and say, well, okay, let me walk, you know, to the kitchen and pour the Cheerios. You just subconsciously do it because it's habit, right? So I connected with David Sharp because him and I have, you know, the same type of history. And, uh, you know, subconsciously in San Diego, I went up to that man and I said, my name is Laura Parrish, and I shook his hand. I said, I've been sober for 18 months, and in Austin, I'm going to be at the top 35. I'm going to be on your stage, and I'm going to have a banner just like Tracy Walker. And he just looked at me, yeah, that's right, Tracy, and he just looked at me, and he said, he said, I believe you. And, you know, damn me if I knew if he, like, was serious or not, but he, something in his eyes, it was a moment. And the thing about these events that really is magical is that you get these moments that you don't even know that you needed. I didn't even know that I needed that. See, because before I went to an event, I was just philandering around. Hell, I didn't even know there was a contest, and I made top 200 part-time, right? And I needed to hear that because I needed someone to believe in me because I obviously didn't believe in myself. I was kind of just not having a lot of direction, right? And that was it. It was on. Now, next day, I was sitting in the front row with my red lanyard, and Lawrence Tam had just talked, and um, Tony Rush had just talked, and Dave Sharp said, well, I'm going to come off stage because a young lady really uh, spoke out and touched me yesterday, and I, I want to call her out. So he came off stage, and he started walking towards me. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> me? He was like, yeah, yeah, stand up, stand up, tell your story, you know, or, or just tell everybody what you told me. And, you know, and, and I just said in front of the crowd, you know, I'm going to do this, this, and this, which now makes me accountable in front of, at that time, 3,000 people. And by the way... And Power Network at that time only had like 22,000 people to the 120,000 people now, today, six months later, right? So now it was on. I was accountable, right? I'm like, damn, I just told 3,000 people I was going to be on stage in Austin, right? So I went home and I changed my focus and I put the little kid toys away and I put the shiny things away. Yeah, it's great to make, you know, decent money in this little thing here and that little thing there. But you know what? I want to make a lot of money every month for the rest of my life, not having to work nearly as hard because I'm worth it. But before San Diego, I didn't know I was worth it. The thing about Empower Network is it lifts you up and edifies you and believes in you until you can believe in yourself. If you would have asked me, Less than 11 months ago, if I would be standing on stage in front of 6,000 people telling my story, I would have been like, you are crazy, period. If you would have asked me if I'd have made $33,700 in one month, I, that's not even conscionable, right? And so I went home and I made it happen, right? Free. I don't pay for advertising. Right? So then comes Austin, and here I am again, and I'm on stage. And I need another moment, but 
I didn't know it, again, that I needed another one. You know, so I was on stage. I got a little iPad, you know, for selling tickets, and I was on the stage for Commission Countdown and, and the all-in call. But, you know, when we were up there with our many iPads, you know, David Wood and David Sharp were up here talking with each other, and, you know, he just kind of turned around and he scanned. And David Sharp's eyes met mine, right? And he walked up, and he put his arm around me and kind of squeezed me close. And he said, you made it. And subconsciously, in that moment, I said, next time, I'm going to make it bigger. And that's all I said. And he just squeezed me, and he walked away. Now, that might sound really insignificant to you. And really, I didn't even understand the power of that when it happened to me, right? But it was life-changing, and I needed to connect with that. And that's what we talk about, about this weekend, and those of you who were just in the top 200 meeting, about finding one person. If you just hear one person's story, it doesn't matter if it's a leader or it's on the stage or if it's anybody else, one person will change your life forever. For me, that was David Sharp because he believed in me, you know, when I couldn't believe in myself. And, you know, I, I looked at my husband and I said, well, you know, after I had my first $30,000 month in 28 days, I had hit $30,000 and, and we were sitting at dinner and I looked at him and I said, if I'd have told you 10 months ago I was going to make $30,000 in one month, what would you have said? I won't say out loud on stage what he said. <laughs> There's no effing way, <laughs> right? It's just not possible because our, brain, our brains are ingrained to think that it just doesn't work like that, right? That we're not worth it. I felt a little weird, right? Because I was a recovering alcoholic, and I always wanted to be a part of something, and I didn't know what that part of something was or what the vehicle for that would be. Empower Network. Empower Network is the vehicle. Empower Network was my vehicle. And Empower Network will be your vehicle. But this is what you got to do, guys. And you know, you guys always say to us as the leaders, you know, what's the secret? If you just tell me what you do, where you do it, how you do it, what is in your ad, I'll do that same thing and I'll have just what you have. But you know what? I can give you all that. I can give all of you that, but if you don't have a heart and if you don't have a passion for what you're doing, if you don't believe in yourself and in this business, you won't have what I have. You won't have what Tracy Walker has or Tony Rush. <laughs> you, won't, you won't have that. You have to believe in yourself. So what I want to talk about with this lanyard here you know, because we all get these little lanyards as classifications, you know, top whatever $30,000 earner a month or, you know, top 200 with a red lanyard or a blue lanyard, you know, and I love it because the Daves talk about how, you know, we're representing and, and showing and giving our leaders, you know, the respect that they deserve because they work hard, right? But every single person with whatever color lanyard you're, you have in here is special to me. And um, this lanyard to me doesn't represent how much money I make or how much money I will make, even though I plan on making $100,000 next month. This lanyard to me represents every single life that I've changed, period. Because the breakthrough that I had, because my original intention was to be a stay-at-home mom and help supplement income so my husband and I could go on dates and we didn't have to live paycheck to paycheck. But I got a lot more than I bargained for, didn't I? A lot more. Life-changing stuff, right? Period. And uh, it, it's just amazing to me, the people that have reached out to me and said, you know, you've changed my life. Your story matches my story. I want to be the next Laura Parrish. You know what that means to me when someone says that to me? Because I never thought that I would ever have anything to say out of this mouth that would ever mean anything to anybody. I never thought I would ever have anything of value to offer anyone. And look at me now. So in closing, in closing, what I want to say is this. Because my ultimate goal from the beginning was to make a little money to help my family out, right? But what I learned, because I struggled too at the beginning, but I didn't have to struggle long because of Empower Network. 
because all these other leaders came before me and I followed in their footsteps, right? But my first goal was to make money to help my family, right? But when I learned that my breakthrough came from the belief that David Sharp and Empower Network had in me, and also when I stopped worrying about making the almighty dollar and I started working, excuse me, I started worrying about what your story was and how I could change your life. What's going on with you and how I could help lift you up and help you to believe in yourself. When I started having a genuine care and concern and compassion for every individual that came to me for help and stopped worrying about making money, by God, that's when I started making money.